last couple of years. You see how how much the fans love him and how much he he gets people on their feet and he's he's been special and he's been the reason that this program is as is where it is right now. Um, so I just definitely want to thank Casey for sure about what he's done for this program and Joe for the one year. He's they've both been amazing and then big shout out to Boogie. He came in and didn't completely go probably the way he planned it coming into the season, but he's been a big time leader and he's been in college basketball for a while and definitely helped helped us with us with his experience and just his leadership in general. Uh, I know uh, coach and a lot of other guys have alluded to it, but yeah, he's he's been big time for us just off the court and just trying to keep us composed. Uh, so all three of those, just big big thank you for what they've done for this program this year. They were a big part of. Um, this special year that we've had this year. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Rick, just the emotions where you guys came into this game with a lot of confidence and belief that you guys could uh, make history tonight coming up short. What, you know, what, what are the emotions? It's pretty, pretty uh, tough to definitely, definitely had a lot of, a lot of, a uh, couple tears. Uh, a lot of guys were completely in tears. Um, it's kind of feeling numb, like. Losing like this, it, it sucks. Knowing that you're on the on the grasp of making history for Nebraska basketball and falling short, that definitely definitely hurts. Um, yeah, you, probably, you guys probably never saw giving up 98 points coming, did you? You're such a good defensive team throughout the year. Especially, uh, I don't know what the numbers were exactly, but from like. Early on February, the way we've defended this year, it was very good. We've worked on it all all season, and to kind of see that flourishing at the end of the season, it's been awesome. But uh, against Illinois, we gave up a lot of points, and again today, we gave up a lot of points. That team was hot coming in, and they just stayed hot, and we didn't have an answer for for what they brought to the table, and. And yeah, it's, it's easy to say. Like, if you give up 98 points, you ain't gonna win a lot of games. And uh, I think we scored enough to win the game. But if you can't stop them, then it's tough. Yeah, I mean that, that's kind of bizarre. They, they came into this game shooting 28 percent from beyond the arc, and they uh, filled it up. What What was the beginning of the game like? Uh, you guys are trading buckets back and forth. And you guys started five of five from the arc. They were four of five. That had to be a little bit entertaining. I mean, obviously, coming into a game, that's that's what you plan to do. Uh, you plan to come out hot, and um, I was more so frustrated that we weren't able to get stops on them because if you just trade in buckets, at some point you know that uh, you're going to miss at some point, and uh, you got to hope that the other team miss, uh, misses or make them miss. But um, trading buckets back and forth, they stayed hot longer, and if, I mean, we, we know it for ourselves. We've been hot uh, throughout this season. If you got to go on an offense, defense is a lot more fun, and you got a lot more energy. And um, I mean, obviously, you don't want to uh, make offense to find defense, but definitely gives you an energy boost. And uh, we had a couple shots that didn't fall, and momentum kind of shifted their way, and just weren't able to, to get it back. Rick, you had your options uh, in the transfer portal, and you decided to come to Nebraska. Mm-hmm. Now that this season is done, not that it might—it's probably difficult looking back at it, but you can confidently say you made the right choice and being a part of this ride. You know, it was something special to you, wasn't it? Uh, definitely, definitely, uh, extremely happy with uh, with the choice I made. I wanted to play in Power Five league and compete in that league, and uh, we definitely competed in a Big Ten this year on a, on a big time level, somewhere Nebraska has never been. And the other goal was making making the NCAA tournament, uh, which is what I did. Um, definitely, when you make it, you want to win some games here. Um, so very unfortunate that we weren't able to do that. But um, definitely extremely happy with uh, how this season turned out. Going into the portal, obviously you don't know what you're gonna uh, what you're gonna get. You just gotta make the best decision possible with the, with the facts that you have at that point, but it turned out probably even better than I could have hoped for. Yeah. Did you need to prove to yourself that you could do this You know, going into this year, that you could play in a Power 5 league and be as productive as you were this year? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm confident. I know I'm a good player, but uh, playing at the mid-major level for a while, uh, you want to 
play in, in the biggest arenas and in front of the biggest crowds and Nebraska was definitely a place where that could, could be like how the fans packed PBA every single game that was like that was awesome that's exactly what you what you want if you go power five and yeah I wanted to obviously prove that I could play against the best players in in this country and uh, some games are better than others but I think in general I did a pretty decent job of that yeah, looking at a positive spin on this, you guys make the tournament for the first time in 10 years. What did this once in 23 wins, which is the second most in program history in a season, what did, what did this year do for the trajectory of the program and where this thing is headed? I mean, I, I hope you, I, you obviously you never know if you get an opportunity like this ever again, but I hope that this season has kind of set a standard for Nebraska basketball going into the future that – we're, we're here and we can compete with the best of them. And um, I hope this season is just just a, a trampoline into even better things to come.